I'm free in thee. In Christ I'm free in thee. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. I'm free in thee. In Christ I'm free in thee. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. I'm free in thee. In Christ I'm free in thee. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. I'm free in thee. In Christ I'm free in thee. No chains are holding me. That's who I choose to be. I'm free in thee. I'm free in thee. I'm free in Christ. I'm free in thee. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. I'm free in thee. I'm free in thee. In Christ. I'm free in thee. I'm free in thee. No chains are holding me. Hi William. Hi Daphne. Do you remember last week's lesson? Uh, yeah, I do. What was it about? Yeah, the one that's saying, um, I am complete in Christ. Yes, that's it. Ah. So I was thinking this week. Yeah. Do you know what came as an evidence that we are complete in Christ? Hmm. Tell me about it. I'm not sure. It is the person of the Holy Spirit. Roho Takatifu. Roho Takatifu. Wow. So, this happened when you received Christ. Okay. So when you received Christ, the Holy Spirit came and started living in you. And the wrath of God was taken away. Mm. Wow. So the Holy Spirit makes you to want to do the will of God. He moves you to want to do the will of God. And not only that, mm. He reminds you of your righteousness. Wow. What more could we ask for? My goodness, my goodness. The Holy Spirit. Yes, it is the Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm -hmm. So children, if you want to know whether you're complete or not, look within you. The Holy Spirit, the Godhead, God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, all in one live in you. How precious is that? Remember, you are complete in Christ. And there's nothing else that can take that position of God in your life. Nothing. So place your identity. Place your identity in Christ Jesus. And so I will hand over to teacher William, where he's going to take you through today's lesson. Thank you, teacher Daphne. Oh, teacher Daphne. Uh, yes. So, uh, you know, I just love the Holy Spirit. You know. Wow. So he's in you. He's in me he's, and he's in you too. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's good. I hope he's also in you, the Holy Spirit. All right. Thank you very much. We shall talk, okay? Yeah, bye-bye. Don't forget to sanitize your hands. Of course I will. And to keep one meter away, social distance. Yes, sir. All right. Hi, children. How are you? A good morning to you. I hope you're doing well. Very good. So I want to uh, continue with the uh, identity uh, series and um, teacher Daphne just finished the last bit of I am accepted. Remember we started with I am God's child, I am Christ's friend and then we went all the way and the last one for I am accepted is I am complete in Christ. So today we, we, we come to like chapter 2 which is I am secure. Can you say that? Say I am secure. Yes, you are secure in Christ Jesus. And the first statement for I am secure, it is um, I am free forever from condemnation. Yes, part two of I am secure. And the first uh, statement is I am free forever from condemnation. This is a very... A very good statement and let's go through it it comes from Romans chapter 8 from verse 1 and verse 2 and the Bible says there is no condemnation now for those in Christ Jesus for the law of the Spirit which brings us to life in union with Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. There is something I want to underline and I want you to get. It's one word actually. And that one word has two letters. 
And the word is in. 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 Yes, this word. Okay, three strokes. The word in. In yani ndani. Ndani. So why am I underlining this word? As we, as we continue, you will understand why it's very, very important um, to get this word in. In where? In Christ Jesus. So the statement says, I am free forever from condemnation. Actually, I have something. I have a beautiful, beautiful chain that's written forever. And I want to have it so that you can see it throughout the lesson. Yes, it is ready. Can you read it? It's written what? Forever. Good. I hope you will be remembering that as we continue. The statement says, I am free forever, forever from condemnation. This is a very good statement. Now, what is condemnation? Because the statement says, I am free. And this is not just for two days or three days or four days or one month or one week. It is forever. I am free forever from condemnation. Now, what is condemnation? Condemnation is when someone is taking your sins, all of them, and then putting them on your head, and then the person declares that you are guilty and that you deserve an immediate punishment. Imagine, all your sins placed on your head, and then the person declares guilty, that you're guilty of committing sins. This usually happens um, if you've ever seen a court, a court room, where criminals are, are sentenced to maybe a lifetime, depending on the crime they have committed, or uh, some years in jail. I have an example here. Consider this one. Consider this is a courtroom. And you're standing somewhere there. And the judge says, Ha! Oh, come here. Samuel Kemani. I have a record of all your sins. Sins? What sins? All your sins. Wait. All my sins? Like what? Imagine. Lying. Tick. Disobedience. Tick. Cheating. Tick. Having bad thoughts. Tick. My goodness. Not loving God 100% because he commands us to love him. Tick. No, not loving your neighbor as you love yourself. That's a sin. Being angry to the extent that you, you hate your brother and your sister. You're guilty of that. Imagine when the Holy Spirit has prompted you to do something and then you don't do it. You disobey him. That's a sin. Tick. My, 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 my goodness. Imagine you gossip. That's a sin. Imagine you worry. That's a sin. When you are afraid, that's a sin. And then the judge says, you are guilty. Uh-oh. What do you do? That's terrible, right? And, and you know, um, when someone calls you guilty and says that you deserve punishment, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel fearful. You are afraid. It also makes you feel very ashamed. Remember back in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, they sinned. And when they sinned, they realized they were naked because they were afraid. They felt condemned inside their hearts because of the sin that they had committed. Ah, that is so bad. That is so bad. Now let me tell you something. You know, God is holy and God hates sin so much. The Bible tells us in Habakkuk 1.13 that the eyes of the Almighty, the eyes of God, they are too pure to look upon evil. When he looks at evil, he just wants to punish that evil. Because he hates evil and God is holy. That is a big problem. We have to pay for all these sins that we have committed. So many, so many, so many, and the list continues, my goodness. So many. Look at all these sins. We have to pay for them. 
that's a problem because paying for your sins would mean forever being away from the Lord in a place where you're burning day and night in order for you to pay for your sins. Can you do that? Nobody can do that. That's too much to bear. We can't do that. And maybe you are like, okay, now what do we do? I feel like crying. Sasa, all my sins, uh, how, how do I pay for my sins? That is very sad. I can't even bear the punishment. I have done so many wrong things. Hey, weep no more. Cry no more. Why? Remember I told you to uh, uh, look at this word in. The, the, the verse says there is no condemnation now for those who are in Christ Jesus. What do you mean, teacher William? What do you mean for those who are in Christ Jesus? What I mean is, Jesus took our place. Let me show you something. We say that Jesus died on the cross. Come with me, come with me. So let's imagine this is the cross. I hope you can hear me, okay? And uh, let me be Jesus today, and I go on the cross. This is what happened to our Lord Jesus Christ. While he was at the cross, crucified, alongside thieves, God took all of our sins and he placed them on our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Isaiah 53 verse 6 that, and the Lord has laid on him the sins of us all, all our sins, they were placed on Jesus. And so Jesus, he became sin. And because he became sin and God hates sin, Jesus had to die. And so he died. He died. And when he died, Jesus got buried. Jesus got buried. But the good news is that on the third day, he resurrected and he made us new. He made us righteous. Now when God looks at me and he looks at you, he sees his righteousness because the righteousness of Jesus came on us and our sins, our condemnation, they fell on our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, that's what happened. What I'm saying is, all your sins have been completely punished in Christ's body. And do you know what else has happened? He got condemned for you. I think that's a good statement. The statement says, all our sins have been completely punished in the body of Christ and he was condemned for you. Okay, I think it's a good statement. Repeat with me. Say, all my sins have been completely punished on Christ's body and he was condemned for me. Imagine. So that's why we are saying that I'm free forever from condemnation because Jesus Christ was condemned for our place. So now, let's 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 come back to the court. So imagine this is God. God is um, God is on his seat. He's about to pass judgment, <sighs> and he looks at all this sin. Hmm. So many you have committed. But then, when he looks at the cross, what Jesus did for us at the cross, do you know what happens to our sins? Let me show you. Show you what God did. This is what he did. These are all our sins. And because of Jesus, when he looks at Jesus, he says, all your sins have been cancelled. Debt free. You are free. You are not condemned. <gasps> what? All my sins have been paid for. Yes, they have been paid for by our Lord Jesus Christ. And when God looks at you right now, he says, no condemnation. 
I don't condemn you. I don't do that. No, 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 no. Because I condemned my son on the cross. That's what we need to know each and every single day. That's what we need to remind ourselves. That I am free forever from condemnation. And why? Because Jesus was condemned on the cross. So, what does that mean? If God does not condemn you, then do you have to be afraid? You don't have to be afraid. Why should you be afraid and Jesus was condemned on your place? Remember we are saying that all our sins were punished in Christ's body and he was condemned for you. He was condemned for me. Yes, that's the truth of the matter. So you don't have to be afraid. No fear. Fear should be very, very far away. You don't have to be to be shameful. Why? Because Jesus took all our shame. So now we can go to God Almighty and we can tell God, God, I know I don't deserve to ask for anything, but because of what Jesus did for me at the cross, today I am asking for your blessings. And you know what? God is going to bless you because he sees the righteousness of Jesus on you. This is such good news. This is such good news. Now, we are saying there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So what about, what about those who are not in Christ Jesus? What happens? Now, by the way, what does it mean to be in Christ Jesus? To be in Christ Jesus, it means that you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And he has washed all of your sins. So what happens to the one who has not yet been forgiven? Do you know what? It means that there is condemnation for you. Because it only applies for those who are where in Christ Jesus. That's where there is no condemnation. But if you're not in Christ Jesus, then there is condemnation for you. Oh my goodness. And remember we say that it means having to pay your sins in a place far, far away from God. And that goes on forever. Nobody can bear that. We need our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, are you there? And maybe you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Maybe you are not in Christ. I want to pray for you. Because I don't want you to miss this. I want you to live a, a stress-free life. A fear-free life. A shame-free life. Because there is no condemnation. And I want to pray with you. And could you kindly repeat this prayer after me? And when you do that, Christ will come to your heart. And you will be in Christ. And there will be no condemnation for you. And maybe if you're there and you're born again. And you know someone who is not born again. Maybe it's your, it's your friend, your relative. You need to help them understand that they need Jesus Christ for them to be forgiven. Alright. Let's pray. Let's pray together. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Say, Lord Jesus. I am a sinner and I deserve to be punished. But Jesus, this punishment is too much. I can't bear it. I need you as my Lord and my Savior because you died on the cross to pay for my sins. Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. Come and make me a child of God and remove all condemnation. In Jesus' name, amen. If you made that prayer, do you know where you are? You are in Christ. And where Christ is, there is no condemnation. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. I want to read a verse for us. Um, and uh, still in the same chapter, Romans chapter 8, and this in, is, uh, is in verse, verse 34. And the Bible says, who then will condemn them? These are the ones who are in Christ Jesus. The Bible is asking a question, who then will condemn them? And then you know what the Bible says? It says, um, not Christ Jesus who died or rather, who was raised to life and is at the right, uh, the right hand side of God. 
pleading with him for us. There is no one who can condemn us. No one. Absolutely no one. Because Jesus died and he rose again from the dead. No condemnation for you. No condemnation for me. You are not condemned. That's the truth. And that's our statement. This is such good news, right? It makes me feel so good. Ah, I, hope, I hope this also makes you uh, feel good. So, um, this would mean you have to remind yourself each and every single day because the enemy atakuja, atanza kukwambia, eh, buona, atunajita nani, unajita Paul, eh, Stephanie, Simon, eh, Sujui, Natasha, buona makose nyulifanya jana, wewe hata haufai kwenda mbeleza mungu, hey, kwanza, 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 mama yako alikuambu wote kwa duka ukamdisobey, whoa, 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 wewe hata ufei kukua kumbeleza mungu. Imagine yu ni, ni, ni shetane na anaku, anakuambi hizo maneno kwa kini yako. Utamombia aje. Utamza kumombia. Oh, oh, by the way, ni kweli. Ay, ni kweli, mi meta ufei kukua kumbeleza mungu. No! Au muambi hivo, unamombia. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Unamombia, I am free forever from condemnation. Si manishi tuende tufanya makosa kwa sababu wakuna condemnation apana. Kenye ni na manisha ni. Ato kifanya makosa, wewe haukumiwi. Yes, condemnation ni kuhukumiwa. Wewe haukumiwi na mungu. Ye, yeah, tu ndarapa kutuhukumu, lakini hatu hukumu kwa sababu yesu alikufa kwa msalama. Yes, that's today's lesson. I want us to watch some few uh, dramas that ziteza kutusendia. Tuweze kuilewa hata zaidi. I'm free forever from Jeremiah 31 verse 34 B says, I will forgive their wickedness and remember their sins no more. <laughs> Hebrews, Hebrews 10 17. Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. Ah, do you know what? What? R Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 12. You know what it says? Uh -huh. You know what it says, Hebrews? You know what? It says that God will forgive our sins and he will remember them no more. Wow, do you know what, God, guys, what that means? It means there is therefore now no condemnation. Mm -hmm. Because if God cannot remember our sins, then there is no way he can condemn us. Ah. Mm. So when the devil says, when the devil reminds us of the wrong we did, yeah. God has no accusation against yes. us. He has no record of our sins. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Mm. It's free, right? Mm -hmm. It's free. It's son of free. Free indeed. In Christ, certain day. What are you doing, William? The chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've got to go, guys. Me too. I'm still free. Come on, let's 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 now a toto a squeeze one up in the kujiringa one up to a risk come on, let's one up to a risk come on, let's one up to a dunda 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 kadush come on, let's 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 by the way, you are not a blessed child. I'm going to go to the Bible. 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 Lakini ya niambivo. Kwa mimi, zana nilikula biskuti kwa klas. Aliambia, ati, usifanya hivyo tayo. Nkwa ndani ata chukua biskuti za mkumbe wapi. Mwa, aku chukua biskuti za. Aku chukua. Aku chukua. Aki umu alemu ni mzuri. Mwini ni yesu. 
Wacha nini waambie? Nimefika nikamuuliza, "Teacher, niambie, Mother of Jesus is who?" Lakini yoni rahisi hadi wewe. Si ni Mary. 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 Na na Father of Jesus is who? Joseph. Uchi Joseph wa Joseph. Joseph wa mbao. Lakini ni Joseph by the way. Lakini Kibaya ndo jaribu. Na ukwe na swali ngumu. Tebu tuwa mimi kwanza swali. Mimi kwanza na ya kutiza the closet friend. Sisi mimi mimi sasa mimi marakiza nguwa yuko close. Na mbi close ni mgani. Kwanza mbi mbuliza. 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 Yani akitusamehea 
ni kama let's say maybe nimeandika vitu hapa afu nimeomba msamaha ukiomba msamaha anafungua kurasa mpya ambao hakumbuki hizi vitu zingine na siku kabisa na siti Mungu haezi kumbuka Mungu anakumbuka na kila kitu ni venye ana choose to forget kenye umefanya cause umemwomba msamaha so the moment tunaomba msamaha Hizi vitu wazifai kwa zina tukondemu. Ati nilifanya nini, ati kitu na nisumbua. Apana, ipai kusumbua. So, God ya nakusamehea na mbizako kabisa na nasahau. So, shetani ni anajaribu kukuambia venye, ulifanya. Lakini imagine mungu, ameachana na ayo. Wow. Hame kusamehea kabisa. Ok. So, naomi, si kusema ati mungu, hako na maindi ya kusahau. Apana, hame choose kuku, forgive na kaachana na hiyo zoda kisako. Asante ticha. 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 Tufungisha baibu basi. Ok. Mungetaka kuwafunza basi moja. Bayo. Najua sa zingine. Nime kuwa tu nikiona. Kuna watu wenye wana nidanga yanga tuwa. Wana kudanga yanga ticha. Wana nidanga yanga. Wana nidanga yanga. John 8:44 in a sema the devil is the father of all lies. Lies. Who gonna do it? Hey, who done ganya? Shetani na Gai ticha. Na kuna juwa nini? Ukiyonge ukweli ina kuset free. Ya mungu ito, unajua uongo, mungu natafutaka ka uongo ka moja, ke ingine ni vokave haka, ni vokave hii ingine, zikotu zinapai tu hivi. Lakini the moment unaonge ukweli, ukionge ukweli ya kuna vele utatafutaki ukweli ingine, ukweli ni moja tu. Lakini uongo, unatafutaka uongo, ke ingine, ke ingine, ke ingine, ke ingine, so tusikize sauti ya shetani. Tukua watu wa kuongea ukweli, ukweli. So, every time, sasa nyo unataka kudanganya, unasema, aa, shetani sikushi. Sishiki wewe, mimi ni mekata. Unakata kusikiza shetani. Sawa sawa? Eee. Eee, then unahungia ukweli. So, mimi ngetaka mkua watu watoto wa ukweli. Na, usiwai, ukifanya kitu mbaya. Usiai itikia, ikufanya ukue down. Yo ni sauti ya shetani. When God set you free, you are set free indeed. Iso condemnation that is inakunya, ki mimi nilifanya, nilifanya, unachana nazo. Sawa sawa? Mungu anachana nayo kabisa. Kwa unakuwe mtu, mpia. Sawa sawa? Eee. Sina weni mtu. Asante kicha. Eee. Baipo inasemba tupende kina mtu. Ata njina unanga mkipendana na nivizuri. Sawa sawa? Sawa. Aya. Mkwe na wakati mwema. Sia lawe. Bye bye. Good bye. Chekini mbogi yangu. Miku na venye kimiambuwe tuongea ukweli. Na mimi niliambuwe nifuge kwetu mapema. Sitaki kufika leti ni danganyane. Turus. Ya chami ya chami ni kanyake kubwa kubwa. Kwe tunachua kunatoka mwanja mwanja. Kwa 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 Let us pray. <coughs> Father, we thank you because you are with us today. Yes. And as we learn about uh, what you have for us today, God, let your truth sink within us that we may also act according to it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Welcome to today's um, Sunday, Sunday morning. I hope you guys have had a good week, have you? Yes, teacher. Mwakuwa na wiki mzuri? Yes. Ah, mzuri sana. Sasa kabla tujaanza na lesson ya leo, 
ningetaka tuweze kushare uh, how God has loved you this week has anyone been loved by the Lord yes uh, let's let's anybody wants to go first yeah the whole week I've been well I've not been sick and my family is well oh that is so good thank you for Davis for sharing God has really loved you someone else yep my big brother gave me his Bible whoa awesome you know how to read it Paul yes teacher good Actually, today I will have you read a verse. Ah. I'm glad God loved you and you were giving your life. Yes, teacher. Mm. Me? And also me, I was given a new notebook by my mother. Ah, oh, wonderful. So you can take down the points yes. that you discussed today. It's a big Excellent. notebook. Mm. Very big. And you have a pen. I think I should give you a, a biscuit for that. But before, I want to sanitize your hands. Yeah, because I know you will also be getting this. Do you have a Bible? Wonderful. So you'll also get a biscuit. Fidodo. Because God has loved on you, you'll also get a Bible. First sanitize your hands. Okay? Good. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Good, good. Yes, yes. Thank you. Kids are good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for saying thank you. Thank you, Tisha. Uh -huh. So, uh, what about how has the Holy Spirit prompted you this week? Has anyone been prompted by the Holy Spirit? I'm sure he has. Yeah. Yes, Naomi. Can you hear me? Yeah, uh huh? Holy Spirit, I've been prompted. Okay. I see this carrying a good church. Wow. Have I given you a biscuit? Oh, yeah. Good. Good. That is very good. Usibe biscuit? I mean, usibe? Usibe skariyama. Usibe skariyama. Na nikuje chaka. Praise God. Thank you. Teacher, leo na confuse man. Teacher, ko happy. Ni mbaya. Ah, ah, so I'm very happy indeed. Ni mbaya ni mbaya. Ni likuwa biscuit, ni likuwa kiyama. But that's good. I'm glad the Holy Spirit has prompted you. And you have obeyed the Holy Spirit's prompting? Yeah, na mbaya. God. God's love. Yes, we Ah, good. Pink. Beautiful. Pink. Yeah. That is wonderful. So I, I, I want us. Anybody else had something to say? Okay. Well, this, yeah, for me, how I've seen God prompting me, I was prompted to pray for some of my friends. And, um, and, and I also prayed for you. You, wonderful people. And uh, yeah, I obeyed that prompting. And I just love praying for people. So I want us to go straight to the lesson. Um, uh, so teacher William taught that um, what was the, the main lesson of today's lesson? Yes, yes, Paul. I am free from condemnation. Very good. Actually, it says that I am free forever from condemnation. Are we together? Yes. Okay. And today uh, we are going to be talking about. And it talk. It comes from where? Anybody can remember. Where does it come from? Oh, Paul, you're doing good, yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Yes, Romans chapter 8, verse 1. And we'll also look at verse 2. Good. So, the Bible says, for those who have your Bibles, you can open there. Um, it says that there is no condemnation. Now, for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the Spirit, which brings us life in union with Christ Jesus, has set me free from the law of sin and death. Yes. So, now... What does it mean? Because it says there is therefore no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. What does it mean to be in Christ Jesus? Anybody? What do you think? Fidelis? To be in Christ Jesus, for me, I think is accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm. Very good, Fidelis. Thanks for sharing. To be in Christ, Namanisha Kwanda Nia Yesu. Yes, Wow, that is wonderful. And it is very true. It means that you are inside Christ and, and for you to be in, in Christ, it means that you have accepted him as your Lord and as your what? As yes, your yeah. Savior. Then you become you you are inside Christ. So what happens for those who are inside Christ? There's 
condemnation. There is no condemnation. And actually that leads me to my next question. What does it mean? What is condemnation? How did we define condemnation? I mean, I just have an example. Hey, you're not condemn, you're not self-condemnation, eh? Yeah, but no, uh, good, that's a good example. So, Fide and um, Davela. Tisha, ni, ni, ni example. Uh -huh. Kama umefanya makosa, uh -huh. alafu upelekwe kwa koti, yes. alafu judge, anaeza kuambia, ame condemn, wende life in prison, nini. Ukakai kwa jela. Mm. Yoni condemnation. Yoni condemnation. Kabisa, the Mimi. judge has declared uko condemn, uko guilty. Sindio? Mimi itisha. Uh -huh. Mimi najua, venye mimi najua. Mm. Najua, unajua God, alituma mtoto wake Jesus akuja kufa kwa cross juu ya zamu zetu sasa hiyo mimi ndo najua si uko condemned juu ya Jesus alichukua si zamu kwa cross sasa saa hizi si si uko condemned juu i'm free from sin aha yeah let's sing that song again i'm free in the in christ, christ i'm free in the no chains are holding me it's who I choose to be. Yes, we are free. That is very good. In simple words, condemnation. When we say there is no condemnation in Christ, it means that God has no record of your wrongdoings. He has forgiven you, and so he cannot declare you to be guilty. Are we together? Yes. That's how God does. Because of like purity has said, Jesus died, so Jesus took all of our sins. There is no sin in us. God does not see any sin in you. Therefore, he cannot condemn you. Are we together? Yes. I want us to read uh, from Revelation. Yes, Paul, you brought a Bible. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And Fide, uh, the Vela can do verse 11. Amen. Revelation chapter chapter 12. Paul will read verse 10. And, and the Vela will read verse 11. Revelation is the Bible. Who is It is the last book of the Bible. So, we have to pick up. 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 We have to Condemnation ni kikuja. Kwa sababu mungu wamesema hakuna. Lakini kuna wakati unasikenga umejikondem. Kama venye fidelis alikuwa nasema example ya self-condemnation. J zinatoka wapi. Na piriti mume intena po social distance. Kumbuka one meter. Yeah, tu, tu skiza venye government yetu unatuambi. Unatuambi ya. Tusome verse 10. <coughs> Then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, uh -huh. Now God's salvation has come. Now God has shown his power as king. Now his Messiah has shown his authority for the one who stood before our God has accused our brothers and sisters day and night has been thrown out of heaven. Has been thrown out of heaven. Very good. From that portion, who is the accuser? Who is that that accuses? The devil. The devil. If you read before, you will you will notice the Bible talks about the dragon, and the dragon is the devil. Do you see? He accuses. Accusing is another word for condemning. So who condemns? The devil. The devil. So when condemnation comes, where do they come from? The devil. The devil. Good. Okay. Now let's read verse eleven, and I want you to be thinking. How do you overcome this this accuser, this this devil? Yes, Davela. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb uh -huh. and by the word of their mouth, and by their testimony. They did not love their life so much as to shrink from death. Good. So, how did the believers overcome this accuser? Two things. By the word. By the word of their mouth, that means their testimony. That means 
the, the everyday say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Are you saying the testimony? Yeah. So when they're testifying, testifying, the devil is defeated, okay? Yeah. What is the second thing? That is very important and that is the first one. The blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb. Who can tell me which is that lamb? Jesus. Jesus. Remember when Jesus went to the cross? Let me show you. Today we have hidden our cross, but it is still here. So Jesus, when he went to the cross, remember the Alimoga Nini? Damu. Na hiyo damu vini limuagika ilishinda huyu accuser. Sasa kama Yesu aliosha dambi zetu na dambi yake, sisi tunafaa kukua accuse kweli? Apana. Kwa hivyo, chetani ya kikua accuse, unafanya nini? What do you do when the enemy comes to accuse you? Unatumia the word of God. Unatumia the word of God. Unajikumbusha salvation. Unajikumbusha salvation. Good. Yes? Unizatoka mbio? Um, kutoka mbio actually, Bibili inasema in James chapter 4 verse 7. Inasema, resist the devil and he will flee. Nani ya nafli? The devil. Sio sisi tu nafli? Ni nani? The devil. Uno mresist, uno mwambia, shidwa in the name of Jesus. He, unajua kinga ya fanya? Anakimbia mbio. Wewe si weo nakimbia. Ni the devil anakimbia. Sasa, usitoroke shetani. Yeno anafaa kutoroka. Atena mbio kabisa. Kwa sababu, anona Yesu akonani yako. See ni story mzuri? Sasa. Davela kuna question. Sasa ticha. Mwebe umesema Yesu akonda ni ya mutu. Sindio? Eee. Sasa uyu Yesu anakuwa agenda ni ya mutu? Mhm. Anakuwa agenda ni yetu? Iyo ni swali mzuri. Kuna mtuota kujibu hiyo? Da Fidelis? Mimi, mimi nchajaribu. Ehe. Ukitikia Yesu, anakucha, anakuwa, anakuwa, anakuwa. Yes. Iyo ni mzuri sana kina nisema. Chani wakumbushe. Na kumbuka ele siku ingine tulifunzwa that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Ikumanisha, mungu waishi, hii kanisa sini beautiful. Chalena ni beautiful, kuna drums, kuna vitu mingi, lakini mungu waishi hapa, yeye anaishi dania roho zetu. Ina wakati wenye sisi tulitike Yesu in our hearts, mungu walisafisha roho zetu, alafu akatuma roho wake mtakatifu, aka breathe ye na ni yetu, sasa roho mtakatifu wakiwa na ni yetu, kwa sababu roho mtakatifu ni Yesu, yeye ni kitu moda, yeye na roho mtakatifu ni kitu moda, sasa hawa na kuwa wanaishi na ni wana tunasema Jesus lives in us. Sindio? Mimi nataka tumalizie hapo. Nataka ni waombe. Mkuwe na wiki mzuri. Mungu wa waoneshe God's love. Mushinde shetani. Nataka asha shinu wana Yesu. Na mtembe na iyo salvation. Sindio? Kichapo ni utulizi kama tukona prayer request. Oh, niko ni mesa hao. Nani ya kona prayer request? Mimi. Yes. Mimi. Nona nini niko mgonjwa kama una mwana kichwa asubuhi basi ni sana isinyume tena isikume tena eh hiyo ina shida naomba mwoe mwoe yes mimi nataka kujua Mungu zaidi na zaidi na zaidi wow hiyo ni poa mimi tuli 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 kwa nikasikiana na rafiki yangu kwa sababu tu kitu kidogo mimi nataka tujane na huyo rafiki yangu thank you tufunge macho Mungu ni asante sana kwa watoto wazuri wenye unawapenda na siku ya leo umetufunza there is therefore now no condemnation Mungu ninaomba tusaidie ili kweli iende deep 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 kwa roho zetu tusisahau ati wewe hautukondemu na ile wakati wenye shetani anakuja kutukondemu sisi tutajikumbusha neno lako na tutashinda yeye shetani Mungu siku ya leo Naomi anasema ataki kuumwa na kitu tena na tunaomba Mungu kwa sababu wewe ulichapwa ndio sisi tu 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 bone
ninaomba Mungu naomi afone katika jina la Yesu. Na purity aweze kukujua dip 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 akujue kabisa. Na pia tunaomba Dabela aweze kurudiana na rafiki yake wapendane kwa sababu wewe Yesu ni mpendo. Mungu tubariki kila wakati. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you children. Have a good week. You too. Bye teacher. watoto wangu Nani sikia? Watoto wangu Mnaongea juu ya nini? Je, 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 je
Mungu? Yes. Mungu. Ni nilidanganya mama. Nasikia vibaya. Remember when you accepted Jesus my son uh-huh. when i look at you uh-huh. i only see his blood wow ah. and aliwapatia righteousness yake wow so story za mnafil condemned juu umefanya vitu mbaya amfai kusikia juu pia mimi sikumbuki hii ndio mmeniambia tena sasa nimekumbuka lakini pia nitasahau tu sahi because i choose not to remember their sins ni kitu mimi nachagua kufanya to go free free indeed wow huh? i'm free indeed in christ i'm free indeed no, no chains are home. holding me in school i choose to be free indeed in christ i'm free indeed no chains are holding me in school i choose to be i'm free indeed Thank you God. Thank you so much for not condemning us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye bye. Hello kids, welcome to another fun fact. Did you know that the tallest villain in the Bible is... No, it's not that one. Guess again. Okay, I'll tell you. The tallest villain in the Bible is Goliath, at over nine and a half feet tall. Now you know. I'm free, in Christ I'm free indeed, no chains are holding me, it's who I choose to be. I'm free indeed, in Christ I'm free indeed, no chains are holding me, it's who I choose to be. I'm free indeed, in Christ I'm free indeed, no chains are holding me, it's who I choose to be. Free indeed, in Christ I'm free.